Hello, humans! I exist, and I am also a... Um, so, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to beat the destroyer easily, with not much struggle, I guess. But, as I normally say, you can't- easily does not mean you can go with a copper short sword and expect to win. It just means if you're prepared, then you- oh, hey, I got a moon charm. Then you can do it. So, um... First of all, what you're gonna need to summon the destroyer is a mechanical worm. I'm supposed to hold it, but then I realized that would summon it. Um, you can craft it in mithril or, or calium anvil for six rotten chunk. Oh, not this. For six rotten chunks or vertebrae, five lead bars, and six souls of night, which can be obtained from the underground crimson or corruption. Or just it doesn't have to be underground, I don't think. But whatever. So it would also be good if you had something like a cutlass. That does somewhere around like 80 melee damage because then y you have just kind of a weapon that's well good i guess like that especially if it swings fast like this so on other things that help you you shouldn't go in with like armor like these like the shadow armor but you, you should go in with like hallowed armor if you can or um or titanium but if if you can't get something like that then that's still fine you just got to be extra careful it's good if you have warding or armored on all your things like on, on all your accessories because then it gives you extra defense so yeah i'll summon the destroyer um and oh also you should get greater healing potions or healing potions because then you can heal fast when you need it Philosopher's Stone also helps, then there's no, not much of a cooldown. But in this battle, you don't need that much healing potions. And you'll see why soon. Okay, so, start of the battle. Okay, the probes. That's why you don't need much healing potions. They drop hearts most of the time, and they're really easy to kill. So, yeah, just keep hitting him from, like, an area kind of like this, where you're kind of under him. Sort of like a mountain. And then you just keep hitting him like this and and if there's a part where he intercepts like kind of like this hit both of those parts and then you deal extra damage it's not that much extra and not that much time but still it's good um you don't really need to move that much during this battle because he just kind of comes at you like this so i'd recommend just staying still and just keep hitting him and don't heal unless you actually need it. I'd say unless you're like, unless all your gold hearts are down and like four of your red hearts are down, then I'd heal. But, okay, I wouldn't heal right now, even though I'm pretty close to what I said. But, okay. Now I'd heal with a greater or normal healing potion. And, so, yeah, these interception parts are actually really good because then you can hit him a lot. He's almost dead now. Um, the hardest part about this guy is his probes, like, like, like actually, no, not the probe, but the, the, the lasers, and, um, the, in his health. So, the destroyer normally, I'm not gonna say every single drop that he has, but he normally drops souls of might, well, of course, he always drops souls of might, and then he also drops hallowed bars, and greater healing potions like all other mechanical bosses. The greater healing potions are actually really good when you're fighting bosses. Yeah, so um thanks for watching. Hope this video helped you. And um bye.